This video will uh, explain the procedure for calculating the true and apparent wind direction and speed uh, if we incorporate the ship's course and speed as well. So this is example 2 on this topic. Example 1 discussed the same topic and in that we were given the apparent wind direction and speed and the ship's course and speed and we calculated the true wind direction and speed. I'll give you a link of that video along with this video as well. And this video will be given the ship's course and speed and the true wind direction and speed. And we will have to find the apparent wind direction and speed. All right. So let's get into the question. The question says that it's uh, 4th of April 2019. Uh, the ship's course and speed was 200 degrees true and 14 knots respectively if the true wind direction was 300 and speed was 18 knots find the direction and speed of the apparent wind all right so before i show you how to draw the triangle uh, through which we can calculate the direction and speed of the apparent wind uh, here are some points to note so problems on true and apparent wind are solved using something called the OAT triangle all right uh, where AT is the course and speed of the ship OA is the direction and speed of apparent wind and OT is the direction and speed of true wind all right so I'll show you now how can we use this uh, information of this triangle to find out this direction and speed of the apparent wind. So if we are given two sides of a triangle, we can always find out the third side. The other thing that I want to tell you guys here is that this triangle is always made for a one hour vector. All right. And what do I mean by one hour vector is that uh, we consider everything for one hour. So for example, if the ship's course and speed was 14 knots. So in one hour, the ship will travel a distance of 14 knots in an hour so it will travel 14 miles right so we always try to make a, a triangle of one hour unless uh, specifically if we are required for half an hour or one hour we always make it for one hour all right similarly if the true wind speed was 18 knots so in one hour the true wind will travel 18 miles or rather uh, 18 miles is what we consider right because it's doing a speed of 18 knots so we always consider a one hour vector so always convert everything to a one hour vector and keep everything consistent so keep everything consistent so when we find out the apparent wind speed we know that it is for one hour all right so let's start drawing the triangle now so the first thing that we'll uh, see is what is given to us in the three sides of a triangle so we have been given 80 which is the ship's course and speed and we have been given OT which is the speed and direction of true wind and it is OA the third side of a triangle that we have to find all right so let's uh, plot AT first so to plot AT and today, today I'll just show you how to draw it along with me so just draw a cross first and you must be wondering why I'm drawing it on this side of the page uh, you will see why because uh, after you draw it now you guys may have a big page I have a screen here so you will realize that most of the triangle will be drawn towards my left side so left side of the cross and you don't have to worry too much about it if you've got a big page you can start anywhere and slowly you will realize all right so i've drawn a cross here and assuming if this is north and this is east and this is south and if south is uh, 180 degrees true east is 090 yeah so and this is west 270 so I've, why I'm drawing these things is so that you get an idea of how I'm drawing the ship's course. So the ship was doing a course of 200 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll put a protractor at the center of the cross here and I'll draw 200. If south is 180, I'll just have to draw another 20 degrees here. So I know my direction is here. So what I'll do is I will draw a, a line in the direction of 200 and I will go for a, Uh, so I will go for 
14 miles so that my scale here today my scale is uh, one centimeter equals two miles all right otherwise the diagram will become too big it may go out of my screen as well i will not be able to complete it but you can take a scale if you've got a big page just take a scale of one centimeter equals one mile so you can draw this line for about 14 centimeters i am drawing because i am using this scale one centimeter equals one uh, two miles i'm using this scale here i'm not using one centimeter equals one mile what i will do is i will draw this here for seven centimeters so seven centimeters will denote 14 miles that my ship has traveled and this is on a course of 200 degrees all right and i'll stop here i'll measure it out and i'll stop here and this i will call is at so remember ship's course and speed was 80 so t will go towards the course a is the origin of the ship's course then the next thing i have been given is the true wind that is uh, ot and the true wind direction is 300 degrees all right uh, so one thing you always have to remember that o uh, will be drawn towards the origin of the wind direction and with winds it's always where the wind is coming from all right not where the wind is going to so when you sit 300 you have to know that the wind is coming from 300 so the rule is that uh, winds come from and waves go to that is what we consider all right so we draw we can draw another cross here and then what i'll do is i'll use the same principles i can put a protractor here that you cannot see but you do the same put a protractor on the center of the cross and draw 300 so 300 here this is what happens you know will be somewhere here so i have found the direction at least and then so i'm trying to get the direction all right so what you will do is then you will draw uh, so because my you have to draw 18 miles and my scale is one centimeter equals two miles i will draw it for nine centimeters so nine centimeters will give me 18 miles right so i'm going to draw one here and i'm going to stop at 9 centimeters because 9 centimeters here will be equal to 18 miles that's my true wind uh, apparent wind direction a uh, true wind direction and speed and then i'll stop here so o is the origin of the wind direction i remember i told you always remember winds come from so if wind direction is 300 that means wind is coming from 300 direction so this is the direction that's how you have to remember it all right because in this direction here this is towards o is 300 degrees all right so if west is 270 this is 300 all right remember always that winds come from so if uh, the true wind direction is given as 300 that means the origin of the wind direction is 300 so o will always go towards the origin and then what you do is you simply join o and a because o and a will give you the apparent wind direction and speed and again similar with the apparent wind direction sorry about that apparent wind direction you will always have to remember that apparent winds also you have to remember where are they coming from so it will always originate from o and that's how you have to measure the direction all right so now if you measure the direction of oa remember o is the origin of the wind so i am getting uh, first the speed to calculate the speed i am getting about 10.25 or something so 10.25 that means uh, if 10.25 centimeters will be equal to 20.5 20.5 knots so that's the speed of my apparent wind apparent wind speed right so this is 10.25 centimeters you may be getting 20.5 20 centimeters if you have chosen a different scale if you have chosen a scale of one centimeter equals one nautical mile and the direction of course you measure the direction so uh, i will use a different pen just to show you what you can do or how you can measure the direction here so from north to this is 200 so now you have to measure i'll use a different pen from north to this direction here how much is it all right so when i'm measuring it i'm getting somewhere around 259 degrees so my my blue here which is apparent wind direction is 259 degrees so my apparent wind direction will be 259 degrees and speed will be 
20.5 knots so 259 degrees to and not true rather but 259 degrees and uh, my speed is about 20.5 knots so that's uh, my apparent wind speed and direction all right so i hope this video was uh, clear to understand uh, always remember you draw the o towards the origin of the wind direction with winds always remember winds are coming from not going to so when we say 300 winds are coming from 300 uh, and so in this case here wind is coming from a direction of 259 the apparent wind so the apparent wind is a resultant wind because uh, when you consider the true wind direction and speed and you incorporate the ship's course and speed along with it then the ship faces an apparent wind which is a resultant wind based on its course and speed and the angle at which it is interacting with the true wind direction and speed so this is example two uh, I will put up more examples uh, in future. Uh, let me know how you went with this video. Thank you very much. See you.